Bah. Jesus. This terrible dream, they only had one life. Welcome back, everyone, to our Let's Play world. Our lovely Let's Play world. Gotta miss this place. Hey, you. Why aren't you working? Why hasn't this thing been... Okay, I have a lever on the back. I'm solving this mystery right now. Work. Go. On. It's on... What? Yeah, that's on the... Yes, that's... R oh, now you want to work. Jesus. Much better. But yeah, I heard there's a new update out, which is always good. Uh, of course, Dr. Bean will fill me in on the details. Another update in this world. Man, that is one thing I always looked forward to in this world the most, is the new updates. And this one is a literal game changer. So I had to go in and reset the nether through, through a quite easy process. I'll link down the tool I used in the description and the video I watched on how to do it if you want to do it yourself. I don't know about phone and all that. All I did it was with... Windows 10, of course. There it is. I've already had to go in. I only went in and looked around and placed a portal somewhere. And I realized, I think they finally fixed portals. So if I set a portal a little bit over there and go through it, it won't bring me back through this one finally. And I'm so glad. Ugh! Whoa. No portal. <laughs> Isn't that so weird? Yeah, it generates no portal for me, so that's kind of strange. I guess I gotta make one. Good thing I brought obsidian, right? <laughs> make sure this works. Nice. Oh, please be a portal. Okay, that would have been real bad. All right. So, yeah, we have a stronghold right here. Interesting, and then I was trying to dig around to see if the update actually worked. I broke out here, put a portal here, and I saw a blue fire, and that's all I saw. <gasps> oh my god, basalt in our Let's Play world. And you know what they added? They added, what is it, polished basalt. Look at that. What does that look like? Oh my god, that is such a good building block. That looks like metal. We could use that in the lab. Oops. <laughs> Come on, is that fair? Now, a lot of you may look at this as cheating. A lot of you said it kind of seems like it's resetting your nether, but this is a really old world. Did you know how far I would have had to travel to find the new nether features? This is completely okay by my standards, considering how old my world is. And another plus side is we get new quartz as well, because I've literally depleted all the quartz around my nether. Oh my god, they didn't add it. I didn't add... Okay, that's a reoccurring theme with... Bedrock Edition. They do not add the sounds to this game. Just like the ocean, they still have not added ocean ambience yet. Alright, I'm gonna gather up. Whoa, it takes a long time to dig. What the heck? Oh, I should not have played Java first because now I'm just gonna be disappointed at how much Java is better than Bedrock, but again, they just still haven't added all the features yet, I don't think. Oh, that's actually really close to our house. This crimson, it looks kind of small though. Does it? Are the hoglins in here? Oh, God. Ah! Whoa. <laughs> I forgot to wear gold. Oh, there they are. Oh, flashbacks already. Oh, God. <gasps> the mushrooms. Oh, yes. I'm going to make a room in the lab that studies these. Yes, I know. <laughs> well, at least they added the particle effects. That looks cool. Oh, we need some weeping vines. Might as well gather this, too, while we're here. Oh my god, there's so much easier to fight in this. Oh, because we don't have... Wait, I have gold. Stop. I have gold. Gold. Oh god. Okay. Um. Oh! Oh! Too close. Oh! Jesus. Okay, so where does this portal take me? Oh, by my farm. It's kind of crazy thinking I'm more excited about linking my nether travel than the actual update itself. <laughs> You have no idea how excited I am for basalt. Oh god, it's the block I needed for the lab. Uh, oh wait. Did they say you can place it sideways? Yes! Oh my god, they're geniuses. I don't know what'll look better at- Oh yeah, I think that looked a little better, didn't it? It's like a refined metal look. Yeah. Kinda looks like an old tree trunk. Whoa, you could make a dead tree out of this, probably. Dr. Bean, you still alive? Bean. 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 Oh god, where's Bean? 
Oh. He's still doing fine. Okay. Uh, I am not going to rush things, so I'm not going to go straight in and get netherite. We're going to take our time. But first off, now that we can set up nether portal travel, we're obviously going to have a portal in the infection area. But I also want to have one in the middle of my lab so I can... Finally, stop using rockets and running out here constantly. I just want a fast way to travel out here, and I think this will be a good area right here in this wall. Plus side to this, we're going to find out if it takes us to a new area. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Huh? This portal is pretty... F <laughs> and it puts me back out here. Okay. Maybe I'm just not understanding nether travel. I, I don't think I'll ever understand nether travel. I remember why now. In Bedrock Edition, we don't have any crazy statistics that you can press F3 and see. All we have is our coordinates at the top left there, so I never meddled with it. Because you need some of the numbers to know which direction you're going in the nether to be able to link portals. But with Python's help in his video that I'll link down below, I think I can figure out basically how to do it. So we need to go in the nether and link these portals through the divide by eight method. Hold on, just a gosh darn second. Wait, what? You can't make a crafting table out of these? How you doing? I want to make... Oh, there it is. Oh, blue torches. Huh. Would you look at that? It's like a diamond torch. All right, main portal. Got to get the number for this. Okay, now that we have the difference between the central lab portal and my home, we just got to go in the nether, divide that by eight, and go to that location and set up a portal. And that should be it, right? Right? Okay, so we need to go to 4133. <laughs> Am I doing this right? <laughs> I'm at 69. Level 69. <laughs> I can't say that I'm going to complain, but wow. What the? That must be a, they must have messed up with something, right? There's no way that can spawn at level 69. Okay, I'm going to have to look that up. We're almost there. Hang on. This first. So it should be right here. I don't know why I avoided learning this for so long. I guess I just didn't want to get, um... I went the wrong What the? How... How did I get that wrong? Oh, wait. Was I supposed to go negative? Now this has me all distracted. Oh my god. Ancient debris in our let's play. You know what's funny though? Look. They didn't even add the interface for this. You can't even make netherite stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, it's in creative though, but... Oh my gosh. Well, we have our netherite scrap now. Oh, wait, it's going in the negative direction. I did do it wrong. Got Jupiter in the sky. Well, this one's in a fortress, so that'll be interesting. Let's <laughs> just hope I got it right. Lucky there, Dallas. You did it. Now I understand. Yo, so that means we have a really fast way to get here and home now. So, let's say I want to go home. I could use still use my elytra rings of course but um what the oh yeah so and <laughs> what do you know we're right on a fortress here which we can explore here in a bit even though it probably won't have that good of loot um you know what's funny our home portal is right here and right here is a blaze spawner so we can definitely turn this i've never built a blaze xp farm i think that'll be pretty fun so they definitely tweaked mob spawning where did it go oh there it is because I'm having a lot of mobs spawn in my house now, which has never happened before. And as you can see, I've never had, I haven't had gunpowder in here in years. <laughs> Literally years. This is good news. Ooh, Saturn. Aha. An additional vein of 1 to 2 ancient debris generates randomly between levels 8 and 119. That explains it. Not a sponsor. It's thundering out. Hasn't thundered in oh so long. And I need it too because I want to get some skulls. All right, let's go creeper hunting. Oh, how does this work? Oh, oh, there we go. Right? Ow. Whoa. Holy crap, this is a good way to travel. Back 
back off. Oh, did that hurt? Did that hurt? Oh, did that hurt? Did that hurt too? Would you just die? Ow! Stop walking away. Well, we got both of them. Nice. <laughs> Not a good time to have slowness. <laughs> oh, can I get a big piece here? Oh, God. Oh! Just blow- No! You stupid! Oh, I got one. Cat. This is not going to plan. All the creepers I've been electrifying have all despawned. Ugh. Get over there. Get next to your buddy. God dang it. Oh great. Cool. It's over. I got one head. That was awful, man. All right, I want to go back to the nether here. I actually put a portal up here. I'm still trying to decide maybe I should make an actual nether room because it's kind of annoying to go in the sewer constantly. So this one works in the attic. It's kind of cool to have one in the attic. <laughs> I guess it's time to explore this place. Bat! Stay back! Oh! Oh! Oh, oh. Well, I guess it's time to do some exploring. Oh, here we go. A new... Oh, that's a big lava fall. Ah. See, I didn't find this in my Java series. Oh, we got some blue plants now. Oh, and this mushroom. Yes. Wait, so what is this block? Because... Oh, I didn't bring my hoe. Oh, well. Warped, warped block. Okay, cool. Gonna need some of these, that's for sure. Decided to clear the place out a bit. We are gonna be making a really cool nether hub, finally, in this Let's Play. Um, and look, another ancient debris. Only one, though. Was hoping I'd find some more, but I said, screw it. We have TNT. Let's just make, like, a big TNT line and see if any comes out. No. Okay. Well, that happened. What? How did none of that blow up? Uh, uh. Oh, hello. New part of the nether. Okay, well, this can be the tunnel to get over there. Oh, boy. Oh, some of it fell. Any netherite? Nope. Can't believe gas was spawning in here. So what I'm doing now is just a little amateur stuff, just kind of testing out some different things. I actually want to build a whole operation in the nether that's dedicated to finding netherite because I, I still want to complete my goal, like I said, is which is make a netherite beacon. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'd actually do that, but I want to have an actual huge... Mining operation just for netherite. I remember my urge of how much I wanted this in the game, and here it is. Right in front of me. Got the new doors, too. Tell me, what is your favorite? I think I like those the most, because you can... They look like barn doors. You could probably... Oh, you could probably make a really nice-looking barn out of this. Out of these planks. And out of all of these different basalt textures, which one do you like the most? I think this one will go good with stone builds. Maybe cobblestone... I think I like that one the most. Not in my house. I'm stuck in a cobweb. I swear to God. <gasps> Don't you do it! Oh. They didn't even add the sound for this. I swear. If they go this whole update without adding any of the sounds, I'll be very disappointed. <laughs> I don't like hearing that creeper sound in my house. Oh, now that mobs can spawn everywhere. Anyway, kind of got done clearing out some stuff in the nether because we are going to have a bunch of operation areas in the nether, which is going to be really cool. I can't wait. And in the process, I found another ancient debris. Now we have four. Now if we take this and do some magic. Netherite ingot. And I was wrong about this thing over here. This is only if you want to carry over the enchantment. You can still make freaking netherite gear. Oh, do we do chest plate? 
Oh, this is going to be a tough decision. What do you do with the crafting table? Oh my god, there it is. What do we make? Oh, the helmet looks so cool. Do we make the pickaxe first? Oh, I want that helmet so bad. I'm going to be wearing elytra ring, so I wouldn't be wearing this a whole lot. So I guess I'm going to go. It just makes sense to do pickaxe first. I didn't even think I'd be doing this this episode. There it is. Huh. I don't even think I want to enchant this one. Because I really like the base look of it. Oh, look at... Get on the table. Stop. Get... So... Ah. Ah, see that? God dang it. <laughs> like I said before, I love the black strap detail. It almost looks stone, doesn't it? And I'm going to admit... I wish it actually took three ingots to make this, and then, of course, eight ingots to make this. And I know you're thinking, why on earth would you want that? Because I want it to be more rewarding, more rare, like you'd care for it more. I don't like the fact that you have to mix it with diamonds. I wish you just had to craft it with all the ingots you acquire. Look at how tall some of these grow. <laughs> look, just look at that. That's really cool. And over here, I'm trying to think of another hub design. Maybe in the nether I was going to make like a big blob of obsidian, um, but I don't think that'll look too good. I have a question for you. Should I transfer my lab over into the nether, as in make it look like part of my lab is the nether hub, or should I do like a completely different build? We are back. Sorry, it's been like four days since I've uploaded last. Uh, over this time, I've just been really busy, you know, doing life stuff, but I've been working on the world in the meantime. Oh gosh, I've been developing kind of like a, a dry cough <laughs> and it may just be like something I ate. Sometimes it like messes with my lungs, but now during this time, <laughs> it's like, oh God, <laughs> because I've been out quite a lot recently shopping. And I had to stand in like a line full of people and it's just like, oh my God, I don't like this. <laughs> it hasn't come to my town yet. There has been no confirmed cases, but it is still kind of scary because of the whole exponential growth thing they've been talking about. It's like, you won't know. It'll just hit your town one day. But here is this. Speaking of infection, a virus. Oh, do you like this? I made it kind of... Oh, I love that. We need to shut this gate now <laughs> before it gets out. No. Um, I'm just going to keep it like that to make it look like it kind of stopped right there. Um, and as you can see, I obviously went with nether wart instead of obsidian. It just makes sense. And right here, I had a creeper blow up. And I just left the hole and made it look like... Maybe a lab experiment gone wrong. Or a creeper actually did blow up here and we're just not fixing it because we don't use this part of the lab. Um, but the more we go in, um, as you can see, I planted a bunch of these trees, the more it's going to get infectious. Um, I still got a lot more dude ar around here. And the problem with the new mob spawning mechanics, oh my god, it's terrible in here. Like, this is nothing compared to what I usually see in here. There's tons of creepers, but I'm going to get used to that. But I got this doorway. I'm going to clear out some of this. I'm not going to finish it all today. I just want to get the main portal built in here. This is where the main portal room is going to be and where the nether is spreading into the lab. See what I mean? I just had a creeper blow up behind me and it blew up my brown bed. Oh, do you know how bad that would be if that disappeared? Do you know how long this has been with me in this let's play? It's kind of crazy. Okay, wait a minute. Is the blue, is the soul fire torch not as bright as these? It isn't. Wow. I guess that makes sense because blue fire, I guess, is not that illuminating. Man, that kind of makes them useless. What are these even for? They should have a special ability. Oh my god, I hate this. <laughs> uh, I know I'm getting more mobs to spawn at my house in that spawner, but I can't stand this in here. Alrighty then. I think I've always enjoyed this song in Minecraft the most. It's so soothing. No. I love the look of it. I love it. But I just realized you can't make a portal like this. No. Why didn't you tell me, Ollie? Oh, you were looking the other way. Dang it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thanks for telling me now. Dang it. I, oh, man, why can't they do that? But I kept it the same, and now I can light it. 
whoa, how'd I do that? <laughs> I just put it in the back of it. And then I'm going to do another circle on this side right here. So it's square in the back. Um, and then I'm going to do the same white structure design up there in the corner. So this is going to be a pretty tall room. Got to watch out for creepers. They're still spawning like crazy. Uh, I don't know about this metal part, but I really like how it's going to be held. Um, and then all on the sides in here, we're going to have a bunch of different like items. I'm going to make this... I should make this room really infected, like the most infected. But I'm just going to make like probably one tree in here and some of the nether rack or whatever that... What's that called? Oozing out here and then kind of spreading in here. I think that'll look cool. All right, made some soul fire lanterns. They look kind of cool, but they do the same thing. They don't give off a whole lot of light. But they look cool, I guess. You know what, actually? That goes... Whoa, okay. This might go well. The blue goes well in this lab. What could I use these for? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, see ya. Today's comment question of the day comes from... Do I remember his name? Matthew Smith? Yes. Have you ever been invited to any multiplayer servers? And if so, did you accept or decline the invite and why? Yes, I've been invited to a lot of servers. But I think it was after Unity. Was that my last one or just Realms? Well, I, ha I was in Unity and Realms. What's this in chat? And they went well, but they died off slowly. Both of them. And they both scared me away from servers. And I actually have been invited to quite a few recently, but that's the only reason why I don't join is because I'm afraid it's just going to die off again. And it's just going to be a series with... 10 to 15 episodes. For example, Vintage Beef. I don't know if you know him. He's currently on Hermitcraft right now. Holy crap. That looks cool. What is this crap? I hate this. Ugh. But he invited me to Source Block, which was what he was playing on right before uh, he went back to Hermitcraft. And I sadly declined because I wasn't feeling the S&P vibe at that time, but I was very close to joining. But if you go check, that series didn't even last long. And that makes me kind of glad I didn't join. And I always get invites through my email, but I never reply to those because I don't know those people. And that might be another reason, where'd that skeleton go, um, is why I won't join is because I don't really know that many people. But of course you can get to know the people in it, but I'd rather play with at least two or three people that's in it that I already know. Um, but yeah, but that's why I say if I had the chance to join something like Hermitcraft, I'd probably do it because those are actually ongoing series that never end. So that could be like something you could make a series on indefinitely because look at, I think, Exumavoid. He's like an episode, what is it, like seven or eight <laughs> hundred? Oh my god, this is just an example. Thank you guys for watching today's episode. Again, sorry for the delay. I'll have another video out within a day or two and I'll see you guys there. By the way, if you're still watching, name something you really want me to see build in the lab. Because I'm in that lab grind again. And just name a random room. It has to be, have a purpose, of course. But something you would like to see me build because I'm looking for some new ideas. I have a lot of ideas. Trust me. Just I want to see what you guys come up with. That's not an excuse. Trust me. I have a lot of ideas. I do. Bye.